with BYU center James Empey following practice, and you better believe I challenged him on all these poisonous comments coming from the media, including us, and uh, just to see if he would take the bait. Here's my one-on-one BYU football all-access on Zoom via the Deseret First Credit Union hotline. All right, James, uh, typically I would begin with a question about the schedule, but your mustache is now pushing me in another direction. <laughs> so let's start there. Um, that's healthy. That's healthy. How long, how much growth, how long have you been growing that thing? Okay. So I've ever since like Corona happened earlier this year, I grew, I grew a beard while we were in quarantine and then I shaved the beard, but kept the stash. So it's been there for a while, but I've, I've been trimming it. But right now, I'm just kind of seeing if it can get a little bit longer, a little bit bushier. We'll see. I don't know. Okay. And Working more on importantly, it. how does your lovely wife feel about all of this? She tolerates it. <laughs> <laughs> she tolerates it. She, uh, it if, if you ask her, she'll, she'll probably make a, a funny face or something. But uh, she, <laughs> she lets me do it for now. I mean, we'll see. We'll see Tolerate how much longer is, she can take it. Yeah. Tolerates the right verb, my friend. Good stuff. Okay, now to the football. Uh, BYU is ranked in the AP poll for the first time in a couple of years. You just had to postpone the Army game and then added the Louisiana Tech game early on Monday. How would you explain the emotions that you felt over the past 72 hours? And I'll tell you what, 2020 is a roller coaster, man. And and we're just – we're rolling with the, the punches and, and trying to do our best to, to control what we can control. And – um, you know, be in the moment. And, and right now we have, you know, the, 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 AD, the AD, he's doing a great job at scheduling us games and, and uh, everybody's doing a great job at, you know, with, with our best interest in mind, keeping us healthy and safe and, you know, trying to, to, to be responsible moving forward and just everything going on right now. We're, we're grateful that we get to play and we're grateful, you know, everything's going on. We're excited to prepare for Troy and, and uh, we're, you know, hopeful that the Army game gets rescheduled and, you know, we're just trying to look at everything with a, a positive mindset and, and keep moving forward and, you know, taking things as they come. James Empey with us on BYU Sports Nation. What was the reaction from the team collectively, at least in your observations, when you found out that there would be no trip to West Point, New York? I mean, the the initial um, reaction for everybody is probably just to be a little bit bummed, you know, just kind of because we were, we were looking forward to that game. And, and like I said, we're hopeful it's going to get rescheduled. So it was kind of a bummer at first. But then, you know, we, we, we get to play football still. And, and we still have games on the schedule. And we're still adding games. And so, you know, initially um, kind of a bummer reaction. But then everybody's just excited to, to keep moving on and keep preparing because, you know, we get to play. And, and there's a lot of people that don't get to play. And we realize that. And so we're, we're just grateful that, that we get to keep going. What will practice be like with uh, the low number of COVID positive tests within the team and then the, uh, the exposure to other people? So how is practice going to work over the next week or so? You know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not so sure yet. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm interested to find out as well. I know, you know, everybody's working real hard to, to come up with a, a plan and a schedule that's going to, you know, help us keep getting better with, with uh, everything going on right now. And, and I know that that will be successful in doing so. I, everybody – you know, we got a lot of people in our corner, a lot of people working hard to, to figure it out, and, and I think they're going to do a great job. So I'm, I'm as interested as you are in, in figuring that out. So, No, and I appreciate the, the clarity in that answer. Um, if you can, walk the fan base through what it's like as a player right now with all of the COVID precautions that you are going through in an effort to keep everyone healthy. What, what is your typical day like in that regard? Um, well, I mean – just kind of waking up and, and getting the, the classes done, whether they are online or whether you have to go up on campus and um, just making sure you get that done right now. Uh, most, I think everybody's going to be trying to do everything online right now. Um, and just, you know, trying to stay on top of that, trying to, you know, get some, some film work in before practice starts and then getting ready to go lift, always having your mask on, uh, testing three times a week and, um, any practice and you got your little face shield on and you got a mask on and you're, you know, out of practice trying to get better at football. And then uh, once practice is over, you got to have your mask on and, you know, you got to make sure you're not in, in, in big groups and you have plenty of space and there's not a lot of like lounging time. It's, you know, everything has a purpose and you're trying to, you know, stay as clean and healthy as possible. And, you know, it's just a process. And I know everybody in the country is kind of going through their own little process of, 
of staying clean and staying safe and and uh, we have our process too and I think you know every day we're getting a little bit better at it and we're you know following the guidelines uh, as best we can. BYU Center James Empey with us on BYU Sports Nation. Do you feel like this is a wake-up call of sorts uh, and and a reminder that uh, this thing is still out there? Yeah, I mean, I, going into the season, we we knew something like we knew this stuff was going to happen, and we're not the first game to get you know rescheduled, uh, and and we just we just got to be able to to roll with the punches and, and and keep things going from from a week to week basis. You know what I mean? And so, um, no, knowing this was going to happen sometime somewhere, you know, and now it's happening, we just got to be ready for it and be ready to move on and and keep things rolling. And I know our guys are doing a good job, and and they they know. Um, we all know, you know, kind of what we need to do and, and, and how we need to act both on campus and off to, to be safe. And, and I think our guys are doing a great job of that. And we just got to keep, keep getting better and keep moving on. Okay, now on to the good news. As we mentioned uh, closer to the beginning of the interview, Louisiana Tech is added back to the home schedule. So you've got a full home slate now. Six games at Lavelle Edwards Stadium in Provo. Uh, the Bulldogs come in Friday night, October 2nd, over conference weekend. What do you think of a first-ever matchup against a team that won 10 games a year ago? Oh, I, I think it would be fun. We know they're a great team, and and uh, they they do a really good job and, and play really hard and physical. And, you know, we're excited for that. I, I think everybody's more excited for, for Troy this this next week though. So we gotta, we gotta take care of first things first, but we're just, we're grateful that Tom is, you know, working so hard on our schedule and getting us games to play and everybody in our corner trying to help us play. And we're just, we're, we're grateful for the, for the opportunity. BYU has a number 21 in front of it, that national ranking from the AP poll. After one game, what does a national ranking mean to you? It's poison, not drinking it. <laughs> You are well coached by Eric Mateos. You know that. <laughs> That's good stuff. Okay, uh, let's let's discuss some more poison then, because the folks at Pro Football Focus they sure like the BYU offensive line and and how things graded out against Navy. Um, does is that validating at all, or are you do you worry just more about what your coaches say? It's poison. <laughs> <laughs> no, we 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 know you're you're only as good as your next play. You know what I mean? You're only as good as your your next opportunity to play football. You're only as good as your next snap. You're only as good as as all that stuff. So, I mean, it, it's all good and great, but it's, you know, behind us now and and we just we want to be able to to play even better against Troy. Uh speaking of coach Mateos and that uh, avoid the poison mentality. Well, he he did have a bit of good personal news. He got engaged, man. What what has his personality, has he been nicer at practice? <laughs> no, he's, he's the same coach, Mateos. He's, he's the same guy, but we were, we were all stoked for him. We, you know, when everybody heard about it, saw it on social media, we, we, uh, we, we were pumped for him and, and pumped him up a little bit. We were, we were excited for him and, uh, and you know, he, he deserves it. So. Very good. James, before we let you and that amazing mustache go, I need <laughs> to ask you about uh, your two sisters both playing goalkeeper as freshmen for BYU women's soccer right now. They obviously don't have a fall season, but they were able to play in the blue white scrimmage on Saturday night. Uh, they're great athletes. Who's the best athlete in your family right now? Um, let's see. Uh, I shouldn't be biased. Uh, uh, probably my mom. <laughs> oh, good answer, man. Wow. Wow, you're a veteran. You know that. You're straight up just just a classic veteran player right there. Um, congratulations on uh, a great opening performance against Navy again. Obviously a bummer about Army, but uh, we too are excited about your next opportunity against Troy. Let's give you some karma for that. Extend the karma to the team to stay healthy, and we'll talk to you again soon, man. All good. Thanks, Spence. <laughs>